In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the shrine and mind of Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saints Andrew Kim Taigon priests and Paul Chong Hassan and companions martyrs. Coming together thanking God for all the blessings that we receive from Him, we also come to pray, especially for our intentions and also for those who are asking for our prayers. We pray for them also as we pray for our own intentions. So let us make now ourselves worthy of this holy celebration. Once again, let us ask God's forgiveness for all the sins that we have committed. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs, Saint Andrew, Kim Taigon, and his companions, a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Like a stream is the king's heart in the hand of the Lord. Wherever it pleases him, he directs it. All the ways of a man may be right in his own eyes, but it is the Lord who proves hearts. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the tillage of the wicked is seen. The plans of the diligent are sure of profit, but all rush haste leads certainly to poverty. Whoever makes a fortune by a lying tongue is chasing a bubble over deadly snares. The soul of the wicked man desires evil. His neighbor finds no pity in his eyes. When the arrogant man is punished, the simple are the wiser. When the wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The just man appraises the house of the wicked. There is one who brings down the wicked to ruin. He who shuts his ear to the cry of the poor will himself also call and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Lead me in the path of your commands. For in it I delight. 
Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. And I will keep your law continually, forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Please stand. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside, and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kung tingnan lamang po natin ang, sa unang uh, uh, pagkakataon ang Ebanghelyo, siguro masasabi din natin na pagkasalbahi naman ang ating Panginoon. Bakit? Kasi hindi niya kinilala ang kanyang ina. Si Maria, na kanyang ina. When you hear the words of those people around him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. Diba? Bakit hindi niya sinabi ka agad, papasukin niyo o lalabas ako? Bakit meron pa siyang pahambing na sinabi? Mga kapatid, isa siguro sa makasalanan na gawain ng tao, lalong-lalo na ni isang anak, ay yung pag na existence ng kanyang ina. Yung hindi pagkakilala. Na-experience ako ito eh. Nung sana nasa device ako doon, Dominican Youth Center sa Jensen. Meron kaming apostolate for the youth. And one time, graduation, pinapapunta namin yung mga magulang. At merong isang bata, ayaw niya makita ang kanyang magulang. Kaya tinanong na, bakit? Kasi Father, wala siyang damit na maganda. Mahirap lang po kami. Nakakahiya. Sabi ko, hindi ka ba nahiya sa sarili mo? Tingnan mo yung sarili mo. Kung walang nanay mo, wala ka dito. Kung walang nanay mo, hindi ka nakagraduate. Kung walang nanay mo, hindi ka nabuhay. Kung walang nanay mo, hindi ka nag-birthday, hindi ka nag-aral. Wala ka dito ngayon. Ngayon, nahihiya ka dahil mahirap yung nanay mo. Hindi mo naisip na noong ipinanganak ka, yun ang pinakahirap na eksperyensya ng isang nanay. Yung pinakamasakit. nang binigyan ka ng pagkakataon na makakita ng liwanag at ma-enjoy mo ang sandibutan. Ngayon, you have that courage na malaki ka na to disown, to deny your mother. Mga kapatid, actually, hindi bago yung kinukwento ko sa inyo na eksperyensya. Marami tayo maririnig, marami tayo nalalaman. 
Ito din ba ang ginawa ng ating Panginoon? Did Jesus really deny the presence of her mother? Or, on the other hand, Jesus confirm, affirm the presence of His mother and extended the motherhood to the rest of those who listen to Him, of those who are present while He was teaching in this synagogue. When our Lord said, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it, kilang pa ba hindi sinunod ni Maria ang Diyos? Una pa lang, nung sinabi ng anghel sa kanya, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Kahit takot siya, pero nung naunawaan niya ng may gawa ay Diyos, anong sinabi niya? Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to your word. Doon pa lang makikita natin yung total obedience ni si Maria, total surrender ni Maria. At kanyang Linagay, binuway ito. He lived on it, accepting the responsibility to become a mother of God. Mary lived it until the end. Of course, until Christ resurrected. Mary never abandoned Jesus. Mary never disobeyed the will of God. Kahit pinahirapan siya. Remember the seven sorrows of the Blessed Mother. Nung sinabi pa lang ni, si, ni Simeon that your heart will be pierced of the sword. Nung pinatakbo sila sa Egypto just to save the child. Nung nawala ang kanyang anak sa templo, di ba masakit din yun? Katulad ng naramdaman nyo kung kapag may mawala ang inyong anak. Ganun din si Maria. Bumalik sila sa templo, hinanap niya tatlong araw ang kanilang paghahanap hanggang mahanap nila. Nung si Kristo nagpapasa ng krus at nakita, nagkita silang dalawa, hindi ba? Sakit sa damdamin ni Maria yun ng kanyang anak na walang kasalanan. Ayan, pinaparusahan. Hanggang pinako sa krus, namatay sa krus, binaba sa krus, hindi iniwan ni Maria ang Panginoon. Kaya ito, ang sabi niya, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the words of God and act on it. Can we be possible? Mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters of Jesus. Are we willing to accept the challenges, the teachings of Jesus in our life? Are we worthy to be called Christian followers of Jesus? In our response and our profession of faith, so. It is a challenge for us. And Jesus actually is inviting us to be like His mother, to be the extension of His mother, to become His father, His mother, 
his brother, his sister, are really are we willing to be one? You understand? Jesus' message through the gospel and his own life are our guidelines in seeking God's will. Let us pray to God our Father that we may follow him and live in his message. For every intention we say, perfect your will in us, O Lord. Perfect your will in us, O Lord. That the church may live the spirit of the gospel and always seek God's will. Let us pray to the Lord. Perfect your will in us, O Lord. That we may deepen our faith by extending services to the poor, the handicapped, and the disadvantaged. Let us pray to the Lord. Perfect your will in us, O Lord. That we may become true members of God's family by being faithful to the will of the Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Perfect your will in us, O Lord. That we may make God's word alive in us by leaving it out in the daily circumstances of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Perfect your will in us, O Lord. That the dead may find perpetual light and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Perfect your will in us, O Lord. In silence, you offer our very own personal intentions and prayers the intention of this Mass, and the intentions and prayers also of those who ask for us. We remember those who are celebrating the birthday today or the anniversaries as well. Lord, make us worthy to belong to your family by your life of faith expressed in our good deeds. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of the world to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified with your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. 
to their endurance to grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours to Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please me. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts of pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, Gerard, our master of the order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say,
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I left you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. It's a soul for its other the sign of peace. Peace be. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of the living God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. 
Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourished with the food of the valiant, as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. There are devotees of Our Lady of Manawag. The feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022, Sunday. Novena Masses will start this coming Friday, September 23, 2022. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasindica.org for online pamisang. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic Sobinori program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. I would like to thank you also, each and everyone, for your presence, especially for your active participation and cooperation during this Mass. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for your time. Please keep safe. Pandemic is not yet over. Please include in your prayers also our frontliners here in the mind of Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Ingat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Please remember the names of your loved ones who are sick at home or in the hospital, and we offer these prayers. We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. To be kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.